Hi, my name is Dave Grant. I am a certified financial planner and the founder of Retirement Matters, a financial planning company in Barrington, Illinois. Today, we are talking about pensions and I'm gonna cover the three things for you to understand that are key to understanding your pension. So let's start with the basics. What is a pension? That sometimes is self-explanatory, but let's kind of dig a little deeper. So a pension is a way of saving for retirement but it's not you that's saving for retirement, it's your company saving for you. So it's not individual accounts like your 401k, it is a big account held at a company that's a big obligation of the company that they're using to pay for income and they're paying income of retirees that are retiring from their company and paying it for the rest of their life and sometimes the rest of their beneficiary's life as well, could be a spouse, depending on how they take their pension. Now it's, it's called a general obligation of the company because sometimes they are fully funded pension plans and sometimes they are not fully funded pension plans. It could be partial or it could be nothing. But if a company goes through bankruptcy, that pension plan is an obligation to the company that they still need to pay. If they can't pay it, then they'll either pay a partial benefit or if they're paying for an insurance company to insure that pension plan, then that insurance company will step in and pay that benefit as well. Now, how much are you entitled to? Pension is very mathematically based, and it's based on a couple of factors. One being your average salary at the company you're working at, how long you work there, and your tenure and when you decide to retire. So it's, it's all based on those formulas. Different companies have different formulas as to which factors they weigh a little heavier than others but you will be able to find in your company booklets as to how your company um, factors in your pension. So how is your pension funded? It differs per company and it's always based on mathematical factors so that companies can very accurately determine how much uh, liabilities they're going to have in terms of the payouts. But for you, it's based on your tenure with the company, your average salary can be based on what level you get to in the company and your retirement date as well. One thing that you should be looking out for and you should understand about your pension is how does it vest? So vesting means are you eligible to collect a pension benefit? And there's two different ways that pensions can vest. One is called a graded vesting schedule and that looks like this. So let's say your company has a 10 year graded vesting schedule. At the end of 10 years, you're going to be 100% vested in the pension, but after two years, you're going to be 20% vested, four years, 40%, so on and so forth. So if you left after eight years in the pension, you're going to receive 80% of that benefit when you decide to claim it. Another way that companies set this up is called a cliff vesting schedule. And instead of it being an incremental climb all the way up to 100%, it is a zero to 100. There's no in between. So let's say it's a 10 year cliff vesting schedule. If you left the company after eight years, you're not eligible for anything. Only after you leave the company after 10 years are you eligible to collect 100% of your benefit. So make sure you understand what vesting schedule your company pension is on. Another thing to understand is, is your company insuring your pension, either through a regular insurance company or through the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, the PBGC, are they insuring the benefits that they have to pay out to retirees of their company? The reason you want to understand this is if your company goes through bankruptcy, are you going to get nothing or is an insurance company going to step in and pay you at least some part of your benefit? Now, putting all these things together, you also need to understand the bigger picture of your pension. So yes, it's important to understand the finer parts, but how does that pension actually fit into your financial plan on a whole? So you need to be working with a financial advisor, a financial planner to understand, I want my retirement to look this way in particular with these goals that I want to achieve. How does my pension play into that? Am I relying too heavily on it? Do I need to save outside my pension? How does this all tie together? If you don't work with one already, I know a good one. But that's something you need to understand so you're not completely relying on your pension or going into retirement blind. That's the worst thing to happen. 
So my name is Dave Grant. Hopefully you've learned about your pension today and can take some things away from this. Until the next video, stay well.